Some days I get a game where there's just tons of things to talk about. And then other days I get something like Bakusho Jinsei Gekijo, where there's nothing to it. If I was being really aggressive, I could wrap up my commentary on this game in a minute. But first things first, let's talk about life. And by life I mean the Milton Bradley board game, of course. It's one of the worst board games out there, where all you do is get a random number of spaces to move, and then you either get or lose a certain amount of cash based on what you've landed on. There's effectively zero decisions to make in the game. Success and failure is totally random. And life is very popular in Japan. It might have something to do with its similarity to Sugoroku, the traditional Japanese board game where you roll a die, move a number of spaces, and then something you don't have any control over happens. Life spawned an entire genre of jinsei games where the player is walked through all the stages of life and random events occur. And that's what Bakusho Jinsei Gekijo is. One to four players creates a character by selecting between a few hairstyles and faces, and then every turn you roll a six-sided die and move that many spaces. Every space has an event associated with it, so when you land on it, something happens. Now there actually is a little bit of variation in the events that occur on each space. The players have three stats, Wisdom, Body, and Luck. And the outcome of what occurs on that space can depend on one of those stats. Of course, you don't get to choose those stats. They change depending on events that occur in the game, which you don't have any control over. There are a few things that you can control. There are occasional mini-games, which are very bad versions of arcade games, like Arkanoid, or this one where you have to shoot the appropriate letters. This driving minigame is barely functional at all. Those minigames have pretty much gone away when you're 25% of the way through. The other thing is that you're occasionally given a choice. Where do you want to go on a date? Do you want to buy stock? But the outcome of those choices is random anyways, so it's not like it really matters. Some of the squares are special, they might have you draw a card, so the event could be literally anything. Other squares are specifically for advancing your career or improving your love life. And that brings me to the big problem with Bakusho Jinsei Gekijo. It's kind of philosophically toxic. The winner of the game is whoever has the most cash at the end. Materialism is the sole measure of one's life in the game. Even getting married and having children is only so that you can get more money. On top of that, your life in the game is rigidly structured. You go through a board for your childhood and your teenage years, then you either set off on a career or go to college, but then after that comes your young adult life, and that's the only place where you can find love. If you don't get married by the time you move off this board, you're doomed to die alone. And then the game assumes that your life revolves around your career. There's a few different careers, but just about everyone is going to wind up as a generic office worker at a big company. Anything interesting or different that happens into your life are results of the whims of fate, not a choice that the player makes. And the game takes a long time to complete. I was rushing through my four-player game, and it took almost two hours. There's no way to save your progress, it has to be done in one sitting. Obviously, Bakusho Jinsei Gekijo is not a good game, but it was extremely popular. It launched an enormous franchise for Taito, lasting all the way until the PlayStation 2. So we're going to see two more of these before I'm done. The best thing in the game's favor is that sometimes some of the events can be a little bit goofy. But you have to sit through a whole lot of garbage to get to that.